Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, in this series of tutorials, we're going to be creating a user login and registration system, or rather a user registration and login system. Uh, we're going to create the uh, login process first, then create the register system, uh, or the registration system. The reason you should do it this way is because you want to make sure your login is processed correctly before you start to register your users. Um, it just works out generally a lot better this way. And obviously just a few um, notes before we begin. I'm going to be creating uh, the login and register system with just uh, two fields and that is the username and the password. In fact no, we'll include the uh, first name and the last name as well. The reason I'm not going to include things like email address, uh, address, or whatever you, whatever else you're planning to store for your users, is because um, if we uh, spend a lot of time creating extra fields in the tutorial, we're going to be wasting uh, valuable learning time. Whereas once you've completed the tutorial and you understand how fields are created and how we can register users, then you can obviously go ahead and input your own uh, unique uh, field form fields. So. The, the first thing we need to do, we're not going to be uh, writing any code in this tutorial. Um, we're going to be coming over to PHP My Admin and we're going to be setting up our table that, in which we're going to store user data. And then what we're going to do is pop a few um, sort of piece of dummy data in there if you like. So we're going to register a couple of users manually using uh, PHP My Admin. So the first thing I've done is I've already created my database in PHP my admin. You should know how to do this. So I've created my database. Now I need to create a table. I'm going to call this table just simply users. Now we need to de determine how many uh, fields we need to store. So the first field I'm going to store is uh, let's just blank this so we can write some notes. I'm going to field uh, the first field I'm going to store is the ID. This is obviously going to be the unique field, this is going to be the primary key uh, and it's going to be auto increment as well. Um, we also need to store obviously the username, the password, let's just pop that over there, uh, the first name and we'll say surname. So these are the four uh, fields or five fields that we need to uh, include in our program. We can also include things like register date, registration date. Um, but we're not going to do that for now. Like I said, the purpose of the tutorial is to show you how to uh, include um, everything and put everything together. So let's go ahead and create these fields. Let's delete that first of all. Um, remember, it was five fields, so we type five in there and click go. Okay, so now to set up each field. So ID is obviously going to be an integer because it's going to be an auto incrementing value. So let's go ahead, We that's int uh, by default go ahead and we're going to set the index to primary because this is our unique field in our uh, table and also AI which stands for auto increment so for every value that's created for every row that's created um, this will increment by one giving each user a unique number starting from one okay so the next one is username then we have password then we have first name and also we have surname um, so for the username and password, we're going to pick a varchar data type. The same with the first name and the last name. So we can do these while while we're selecting the others. Okay, so the username and password, I'm going to give a limit of both 30 characters. Um, the first name and the surname, I'm going to say 40. Now, obviously, you can uh, change these limits yourself. Um, you can change them to whatever you want. Um, I'm just doing this for sort of ease of use and teaching, but I, I generally I'd say that a username or password shouldn't be more than 30 characters and a first name and surname shouldn't be more than 40 characters just in case we have an extra long name. So we don't need to set any other properties for these. We can uh, go ahead and click uh, save down here and we'll just examine our um, structure of our table just to make sure everything's correct. So we've got ID, it's underlined, so we know it's a primary key. We've got auto increment on this under the extra, and int is 11 characters, that's absolutely fine. Uh, this could be a small or medium int, um, but we'll keep it at this just in case. We need to register lots and lots and lots of users. Username uh, and password are both variable, character, uh, variable characters, and their length of 30. And first name and surname are also variable characters, and their length of 40. 
Okay, so we've uh, set up our table. Let's go ahead and put some data inside of here. Now, there's one thing to bear in mind. We're going to be storing our password as an MD5 hash. That reminds me, actually. Let's go back to our structure. And let's change the uh, password field here. So let's click, check that, and then click the Edit button. Let's change this to 32. Now, the reason we're changing this to 32 is we're storing um, the password as an MD5 hash. Therefore, an MD5 hash will always, or more or less always, uh, most of the time, equal, it will be the length of 32. So whatever sort of length our password is, our MD5 hash will typically be 32 characters. So we're storing a 32 um, character password in here because that will be the MD5 hash. And if you don't know what an MD5 hash is or you don't know how to create one with PHP, um, take a look at my other tutorial on MD5 hashes and uh, that will sort of walk you through what, how we uh, relate that to passwords. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and insert some data. Now there's a couple of things we need to do with the password. We can't just enter a normal password in here. We need to input an MD5 hash. And you'll see later on when we register our users, we're going to convert the password that they've entered in a text field to an MD5 hash before we insert it into the uh, database. But for now, I'm going to uh, create a PHP script to quickly um, convert a password that I want to manually put into here. So my username is going to be Alex. Um, we'll leave the password blank for now. I'm going to put my first and surname in and the password um, is going to be equal to the value password. So um, my password is going to be password. In fact, we'll, we'll do pass, pass123. That's a lot better so we don't get confused between field name and the actual password. So I'm going to echo out MD5 and in here I'm going to put pass123 and this is going to return the MD5 hash Okay, so I can just copy that and paste that into my database. So obviously you won't have to do this when you're registering your users. And I'm going to click go. Okay, so there. Let's click browse to make sure all the data's in there. Okay, so we've got ID of 1. That's automatically updated that for us. So that's an ID of 1. Username is Alex. Password is this hash, which is uh, equivalent to pass123, or the hash of pass123. Uh, first name Alex and surname Garrett. Okay, so now that we've registered um, or manually registered a user, we uh, are pretty much done setting up our database, setting up our table rather, and uh, inserting this value. So in the next part, what we're going to be doing is logging this user on.